The Earth is getting hotter, and its rising temperature is causing changes to our climate. Scientists estimate there's now a 90% certainty that the recent warming is a result of human activity. Global warming is caused by an enhancement of what's known as the greenhouse effect. This is formed by a blanket of gases in the atmosphere that trap in some of the heat from the sun, reducing the amount that's radiated back into space. Apart from water vapor, the largest proportion of these gases, over 50%, is carbon dioxide. Since the Industrial Revolution, we have increased the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by over 30% through burning fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas. Levels in the atmosphere are now higher than at any time for the past 650,000 years. Computer simulations point to a global temperature rise of up to 6 degrees Celsius by 2100. However, some have suggested that higher increases up to 11 degrees might be possible. But even a rise of about 2 degrees is now thought to be a tipping point that could create a runaway increase in temperatures over which we would have no control. The effects of the warming are already underway. We're beginning to see the climatic changes resulting in increasingly destructive storms and spiraling insurance costs with widespread flooding in some areas and droughts in others. Runaway climate change will cause crop failures, the destruction of economies, mass population movements, and the melting of polar and mountain ice. There has been a widespread retreat of mountain glaciers in recent times. Glaciers feed rivers, and about half of the world's population depends on rivers with glaciers as their freshwater source. Himalayan glaciers, for example, feed seven of the main Asian rivers that provide water for two billion people. But they're retreating fast, some at over 7% a year. The trees in these ancient forests are cut for timber, often illegally, for a variety of uses, such as office and domestic furniture manufacture or they're simply burned to clear the land for farming cash crops, such as palm oil plantations. There's now an insatiable demand for palm oil, which is used in about one in 10 supermarket products, including bread, margarine, even toothpaste. And ironically, it's also used for the production of biodiesel. But biodiesel produced from palm oil is rarely a green alternative. The demand for palm oil is now the most significant cause of rainforest loss in Malaysia and Indonesia. The draining and burning of peat bogs and the burning of the forests to create plantations only releases more carbon dioxide and serves to quicken the pace of climate change. The seas are also under threat. Most of the ocean's fisheries are fished to their limit or overfished to the point of extinction. But there's also another compelling reason to urgently reduce our CO2 emissions. The chemistry of the water is changing. About a third of all the fossil fuel CO2 released since the Industrial Revolution has been absorbed by the oceans, increasing their acidity. Widespread ocean acidification is now inevitable without drastic cuts in CO2 emissions. Scientists are concerned that the rising acidity will seriously affect marine life, and particularly the plankton species on which the ocean food chain depends. The UK produces over 330 million tonnes of waste a year. Although recent years have seen a substantial increase in recycling efforts, half of industrial and commercial waste, and most municipal waste, still goes to landfill. The practice of burying our waste in the ground is as old as civilization itself. But although the UK has a lot of holes in the ground, because of the environmental risks, few are suitable for waste, and in many areas, space is rapidly running out. Very soon, one world will not be enough. 
We have to find sustainable ways of living on one planet, the only one we've got.